What if that means I can actually go through here now? Hell yeah. What is in here? Looks like another shortcut? No, something new. Deep sinker. Causes you to sink in water, allowing you to explore beneath the surface. Also screwed that up. Okay, so I guess this was where I was supposed to go. I was I was under the impression that... Uh, I was under the impression that you weren't actually supposed to be able to reach the desert normally. Huh. You have another option that didn't involve fighting him. Not that I know of, no. I... He is... I think just default aggro on me. Okay, so I'm here. We still haven't been this direction. We still haven't been here, but I don't think I can go up that. I still stand by my statement of, I think I sequence broke a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what the exact order I was supposed to do all of that in was, but you know what, whatever. But yeah, it would have been cool if there was some kind of, if there's some kind of like alternate means. I, a pacifism mode in Metroidvania would be fascinating. Possibly unsatisfying. But fascinating all the same. You can sequence break the church with the double chuck, double jump kick in the lanterns. Okay. Sounds like a little bit more of an advanced tactic for me. And honestly, like sequence breaking just leads me to be being confused. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there. Just a silver chest anyway. Yup. Oh, hi, I'm here. Didn't mean to end up there. Ooh, we got gold actually. Eat dragon. Let's see, what do we have? Ooh, dragon. Hello, dragon. Come Eat dragon. Turns out dragons are weak to dragons. Who knew? Really? Oh. There we go. There's a chest there. Another dragon? Hello, dragon. Eat dragon. Dragon. Let's see. So do we have anything else? Or do we just actually start heading up into the water area? I think we just start heading up into the water area. Also, why is that one dude still marked on the map? Uh-oh. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Well, we can now finally go into the water zone. And actually do it legitimately as opposed to scooting around in, in super water mode. Oh my god, this is actually kind of miserable. Well, at least I can just infinite jump. Osseus! Osseus! Get out of here, horse. This is actually kind of miserable. Uh, let's see. Uh, shards. Let's switch to Aqua Stream. Maybe. Nope. Aqua Stream is well. I mean, it's obscenely effective, but not actually that good. Yeah. Strider belt. Oh right, we got some. We have some new equipment. Speed belt. Increase in movement speed. Hell yeah. Traverser's ring. Starter belt. Improves sliding ability. Yes! Thank you, Hedge Ninja, for the three month resub. Welcome to, uh. Welcome to Bloodstain. Curse of the I have a broken build and I'm destroying everything, and it's great.
Might take some damage from that, but I'm not too worried. Yeah, I was really expecting we'd get the ability to, like, I don't know, swim like a normal person. Instead, we're just kind of gonna... We're just gonna kind of scoot. All right, I forgot. I actually have a separate, oh, wait. Strider belt, what, what, speed belt? Wait, I can't have the strider belt and the speed belt on? What kind of horse business is this? Oh. I guess we'll grab the weighted ring. Oh, because they're both belts. You know what? That makes a little bit more sense. Oh, that's much better. I think I gotta go up and around. And also stop dying. Okay, let's go back to healing up. Yeah, so there's a, uh... There's a shard you can get from something in here. I think it's the horse, but I could be wrong. But... You can actually, uh... You can actually get something that increases your underwater movement speed. Which is actually working pretty well for me. I might... Next traversal room I unlock, I might see if I can grab one. That, uh, or upgraded a couple of times. Maybe it's these guys. I forget. It's one or some of them. Oh, no, it's definitely not these guys. Okay. Ah! Okay. Well, I haven't been this direction yet. Oh, right, because this connects to that other section that I have have been in before. I was wondering how and when we were going to get back here. The fact that the bats can just fly underwater makes me unreasonably upset. Like, they just go under it. They're just like, nope, nope, don't care. That's just how it works. Okay, so it barely levels each time you get it. Oh, the underwater thing? Eh, that's... that's fair. So seeing as I'm playing a Metroidvania and I'm a pretty big Metroidvania fan, are there any other big Metroidvanias that were, uh... that are kind of on the horizon? I can think of Ori and the Will, and the Will of the Wisps and, uh... Ba-isha. Oh, that's a new one. Ori... And the Will of the Wisps and Silk Song. I mean, those are the two absolute gimme Metroidvanias coming out. Any other good ones? Let's see. So I'm here. So. Ah, oh, this doesn't actually get me anywhere. That just got me a couple of items and nothing more. I guess I haven't been this way yet. Oh, wait, no, but that's on the other side of the sand zone. And I couldn't get there because I needed a more tremendous jump. I almost kind of wish the uh, map was a little color-coded. Where do we go next? I guess... Easy answer. Waystone. Should probably go buy some more. Did I upgrade his double jump to a high jump? Not yet, actually. It's good to see you. So, what'll it be? Let's see. 
Enhance Deep Sinker? No. I can keep upgrading Double Jump, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. There we go. High Jump. Requires Bovine Plume. Yeah, still haven't found that. Let's see, what else can we do? Because, yeah, I don't care for regenerate that much. But, yeah, so we got to find the bovine plume somewhere. I don't think I've found anything that works with that. Okay. Well, I guess in that case... Let's see. Increase stats underwater. Huh. I'll go with this. All right. I'll go with this. I'm just gonna I'll upgrade go this, this a couple of times because why not? I'll go with this. Yeah, I'm looking with, for a bull with wings, I'll go but. With this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Wow. I'll go with this. Did I just max out deep sinker? I'll cool. Go with this. Not that I have any idea if we actually have a uh, boss fight that I I'll need to worry about this. it. With this. Yeah, second version of the bowl with wings. I haven't fought it yet. It's not too uncommon of a drop. Okay. I'll go with this. Nope. Okay, so we don't want to upgrade that. Can I upgrade Rigastorema? I can. I should. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. Okay. And that's not the one I want to upgrade. What else do we have? Tips out opius? I'll go with yeah. This. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. What else can I upgrade? I'm just trying to upgrade everything that I've got I'll for go a second this. while I'm here. I'll go with this. I'll go oh, with this. Dang. I'll go with this. Uh probably gonna ignore that for a bit. Can I upgrade my Dulla Hammerheads? Hell yeah. Let's I'll see. I could upgrade this. pickpocket. I I'll should upgrade pi this. pickpocket. I'll go with this. It was kind of I'll incredibly helpful this. when I was farming for gold earlier. Okay, I think the rest of this I'll just ignore. I'm mean, like Aqua Stream is kind of fun, but I really am not using it. Could upgrade Dragon Raid. Let's this. do that actually. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with is this. Bunny Morphosis any good? Seems like it would be some kind of polymorph. Okay, let's upgrade it a bunch. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I mean, I seem to have the resources. I'll go with this. To upgrade it a bunch. I don't think it's actually good, but whatever. Okay, so now that we've done that. Come back anytime. Bunny Morphosis is probably the best weapon in the game. What, really? This is Bunny Morphosis, which I can actually keep perpetually. Okay, so... Gotta find Red Bull. Demons. It's probably down the list a fair bit. Bull with Wings. Yeah, where are they found? Because it doesn't seem to be on my list at all. And I've been very thorough. Uh, let's see. I don't remember... Did I never go that direction? I guess that'd be the next place to check. I don't think you've progressed far enough yet. I... Yeah, I'm just kind of lost, because I... I've... I got a game over. Because of him over here. 
There's maybe a little bit over here that I haven't done. I couldn't... I don't think I could get up here. Even though I've learned to jump in midair, there are still places in the castle I can't reach. Even Zangetsu must be scratching his head. What? But I heard Zangetsu had developed the ability to fly. Uh, what? Here, he sent a message arrow. In the searing hot caves, seek the strange demon. Strange demon? That's it? He says he saw the demon falling up. <sighs> I'm not sure I understand, but it sounds like finding that demon is my best lead. I agree. Now, is there anything else you need? Well, I guess that answers Thank my questions. You. I'll be here if you need me. Take that off. Take that off for good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know how that would just immediately fall off your boobs. I don't know. Okay, so falling up. So that would imply it would be around here, maybe. See, I haven't found a hot caves at all. Because this is a dead end and done. Yeah, so whatever it is, is probably up and around here somewhat. Maybe? I don't know. Hey, what about the mid-lower left passage you were wondering about? This one? Yeah, I've marked it. So it's got to be one of these upper towers or that lower area. Let's head for the lower area first. Yeah, what's the blue icon on the map? That's actually something I can leave. Oh, uh, shards instead of deflector ray. We might as well grab Tepsosius. It's a little loud and a little repetitive. But it does let me just burn through, like, a whole bunch of things. Anywho. Yeah, I was actually getting a lot of comments on the first episode of my, uh, Bloodstained videos. Or, the first episode of this series. Very specifically because I cut out the, um... Alright, I was gonna... I was gonna go get more, um... Waystones, whatever. I've still got three more. Um... Let's see. But yeah, people are mad because I, I cut out the, uh, giant, uh, swinging tits from the very first boss fight. Shell didn't, didn't even agree with me. She's like, that's fine. And I'm like, I'm not sure. Okay, wait. Is that... Do I have the speed belt on? Oh, I have the speed belt on. I still feel slow. Let's let's try putting on the uh, Strider Belt. It feels a bit faster. Oh. I didn't realize this area is underwater too. Huh. Okay. If they punish it, you for it on YouTube, then they'll be right. I mean, honestly, mostly it's just people complaining about it. Uh, complaining about it in the first episode. Luckily, I don't have to, like, worry about it too much. Yeah, I don't know. It's like me being pro uh, video games not showing off uh, young women's underwear. And it's like, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty fine with that. I'm pretty secure in my decision to... Sensors of that sort of thing if I did have to worry about that. And anybody that usually gets mad at me for that sort of stuff probably wasn't a fan to begin with and probably wasn't going to be a long-term fan either. But I don't know. It's not like it really enhances the game at all either. It's like, yes, my character has giant flapping boobs. It's like, yay. Oh, I guess I just never went this direction. Hi. Well, this looks possibly... Where we want to go. 
I see fire. Okay, so whatever this is, this is... This is new for me. And like, I get... I get some people do like that kind of fan service and like... Uh... Gratuitous content, question mark? But like, I don't know. Play it yourself, question mark? I don't want to have to be like party to something that I, I don't enjoy. Um, just because other people do. That makes sense. I'm still mad at uh, the the developers of uh, what what is it? Witch in the Hundred Night for some of the scenes in that game because it's just like this is just gross. Like there were some mature topics in like Zanky Zero uh, when I was playing it that like I could kind of respect. It's like yeah, this is something that's definitely outside my comfort zone and like yeah they could have done without it, but it was handled. Relatively tastefully and whatnot. See, unless it's a porn game. Yeah, but I'm never gonna play a porn game. A porn game. There we go. But yeah, I I always feel super uncomfortable when like a game suddenly just gets incredibly fanservicey for no overt reason. It's just like we felt like having a bunch of tits flying around would be the next. Uh, that was a weird noise. That. Oh, that was us shouting uh, Tapsosius, but it just sounded like Wah! I do like the fact that they had the uh, fil filter going through it on it. But yeah, it sounded like somebody was screaming outside my house, and I'm like, do I have to worry about that? And the answer is no. That's a decent filter. But yeah, nothing kills my my enthusiasm for a game like gratuitous fan service because that's not what I'm there for uh you know I what was it well very specifically I picked up um Digimon Cyber Sleuth I mean obviously uh, over a year ago at this point I should get back to it at some point especially because we got Digimon Survive coming and it's bad to leave like a game like that or descends into harem yeah uh I that still kind of poisoned my opinion of, of, uh, let's see, what was it? Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Because Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and Xenoblade Chronicles X, they weren't without their faults, but for the most part, they were largely beyond reproach. Like, X was just like, hey, by the way, you get two chicks. And I'm like, I don't, I didn't ask for this. It's confusing and weird. Uh, let's see, but yeah, harem stuff makes me feel uncomfortable too. I am a like I try not to throw shade on like polygamists or any any kind of people with like alternate life lifestyles to my own. But I'd prefer to know what I'm getting into, as opposed to just being like, "Hey, by the way, you suddenly have two women, uh, two love interests that you're pursuing in this game," and I'm like, "What?" Like, I really liked uh, Persona 5, how you could actually, like, you could pursue multiple women, but it was not a good idea because you got, like, a really bad ending for it. Ish. Wanderer's Ring. Increases the rate of item drops. Well, heck yeah. That'll cut down on farming. Want a new Monster Rancher, honestly. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Like, I'm looking forward to Digimon Survive, because it feels like a really, really, really good direction for them to take that uh, series into. Because it feels a lot... Uh, secret Sorcery Lab. Well, I don't think this is the right direction to go, but Wait, whatever. What? That's Dominique. And Alfred? This was your proposal, Exorcist. Explain yourself. I should have been there. But you broke your word as well when you laid that trap for me. I wasn't about to allow the book to fall into your hands. <laughs> Why would I want it? Revenge, perhaps? For your parents. Someone has been putting ideas in your head. Uh, Miriam. Huh? No, wait!
I would have preferred you not see that. So the trap Alfred laid was for you? Yes, and that's why I sent Zangetsu to deal with it. He has the power to stop Alfred from teleporting. I thought he might be able to contain Alfred, while we dealt with our bigger problems here. It makes sense. But what was all that about your parents? Revenge? <sighs> I don't want you to get the wrong idea. So I suppose I had better tell you. My parents were exorcists, like me. But during the demon outpouring ten years ago, they were killed in battle. So I have my reasons for hating demons, and that accursed book. I'm so sorry. You must hate us all for it. I let go of the hatred years ago. All that matters now is that I gain control of the Liba Logaith and prevent it from ever being used for evil again. All right. I'll help you. Thank you. I'll do all I can for you in return. Well, I get the very distinct feeling this is not where I meant to be. I'm gonna switch back to my chucking sword. As much as I like this this sword, I can't throw it. And there is something extremely useful about being able to attack. Well, you move. Useful and satisfying. Oh, so I guess this is, might be the right way. I thought there was something about going to like the hot, like warm caves or like. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Taps Osseus. There we go. Easier means of dealing with those guys. Uh, let's see. Take the lower way, maybe. But yeah, throwable swords are awesome. Let's see. Have I tried Fragon Rock yet? No, I don't think I have. Do I have it? And yes, I did get a swordfish. It's just a wooden sword, though. Do I have Fragon Rock? I don't think I do. If I do, is there a way to sort inventory? Maybe. Yes. Sort by uh, stock or attack. Can I not sort by alphabetical? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's currently sorted by weapon type, but I don't have a fragon rock. Ah, you saw it in the shop. That would do it. Is this darkness? Ow. Double ow. Well, at least the blade doesn't do too much damage. Oh, bookshelf. I, really? That hitbox did not seem right. Evil's efforts have supplied us with a large quantity of shards. Now that the children are well trained, we have Giebel's. We've begun shard binding experiments to great success. One girl in particular, particular, Miriam, seems to have boundless potential, both in terms of how many shards she can wield and to what magnitude. If my calculations are correct, then we have finally amassed enough crystal to perform the great demon summoning. It's been a long and arduous path, but we will soon reach the end. My old friend continues to oppose the ritual, however. To gain so much, we must sacrifice much. This is the most basic principle of alchemy. I love how distinct each and every one of these different zones is in this game. Like, it's really quite satisfying, actually, uh, going from zone to zone. Uh... Do I have... Get rid of Draconic Rage. Biggest story about... Crimson 
Oh. So yeah, she's just a weird clone. But if I just kind of stick to the skies and just blast her occasionally. Wait, I ducked it? I didn't realize I could duck that. Well, this is okay. <laughs> she clearly just wants a chair. You should summon one for her. Okay, give me a second. Uh, let's see, summon chair. Chairs! Have chair! Wait. Okay, she's... She does not seem at all... She does not seem at all interested in, in in chairs, which is quite unfortunate. Uh oh, she's gonna be over here, and let's avoid her for a moment. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Transcendence, Oop. and you get a shard for yourself. Shadow Tracer, create a shadow, shadow double. Ooh, hold on. Kind of expensive. Might be really good against bosses. It doesn't seem terribly effective. Or, it doesn't seem terribly expensive. Not... Oh, what else do we get? The answer is whip expertise. Oh, it's a little unfortunate that the expertise shards are random drops. That almost feels like the sort of thing that should have actually been. Um, I'm gonna switch back to healing. I can see uh, shadow double being real good against uh, bosses. Maybe, maybe. Unfortunately, it doesn't summon my main damage potential, so my interest in it is a little on the low side. Because, like, what point is there in a, uh... uh let's see, there might be stuff down there. I should probably go down for a bit, just to see. There we go. Hey, thank you, Jabez, for the 100 bits. How is life? All oh, right, I forgot. Uh, I'm going to throw the speed belt back on. Ow, what? Damn it. Is that just a random bull statue? I don't know. I'm going to go break it. Yeah. Uh, the answer is it might not be a random bull statue, but I don't know what to do with it. Won't get poisoned again, except for I did. Okay, I still have the chair shard on. Oh yeah, I should probably take that off. God, I love the fact that I've gotten to the point in the game where, yeah, I can just... I can just goof rush the whole game. Admittedly, I am starting to take some damage here. So I should probably take it a little bit more seriously. Okay, so we now get, uh, let's see. Toxic Storm. I was wondering when we were going to unlock that. Yeah, I should watch my HP a little bit more. I've actually taken quite a lot of damage. I could see it being good. I'm just not sure if it would be very good against, uh... Oh. Well, that was it, actually. Oh, there was an upper room? Uh... Do I go? Yeah, I'll do it. Other question. I still have amphibian speed on. I was wondering about that. Uh, let's see. Why things got really expensive MP-wise. I always come back with the teleporter. Uh, 
Uh, could I? Oh yeah, that is actually... That is actually considerably easier. You are correct. Alright, back down we go! Yeah, you know, I was wondering why uh, I was suddenly running into many issues when I've been largely untouchable until then. Okay, there we go. Here's where we get flight. Oh, this is the music that was in the trailer. Let me see, some kind of fire boost or resist fire? Resist fire. If you level up your passive shards to level 9, you get a white version of them. Wait. Like, these? So, like, Deep Sinker and stuff where they're just permanently on? Oh, I need to start working on that. I was wondering about that. I was like, man, wouldn't it be great if, if you could actually equip multiple of these? Well, in that case, I'll have to... I'll have to do some research. It looks like we gotta get... Ah! Looks like we gotta get, uh... Grinding. 